Okay, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you um, some BB Craft, a BB, cap, BB Craft project. I'm sorry if I could speak this evening. And I got these dies. I really like them. They kind of reminded me of like something spooky or, you know, like, or paint or, I don't know. I just really liked them. Okay, so I did make a, um, a Halloween one. So this is the first one I made. I used this big um, die here, if I can pick it up. So I used this die, okay, that size there. Okay, and then I used like some Halloween ephemera and I also used the, what's this called? Photo reel, I guess you could call it. And I cut one of the little people out from the page and you know, this kind of just reminded me of like dripping, you know, like dripping goo or, you know, put a little eyeball on there. But so I made that off camera. So tonight I thought, well, we'd make one together. Okay. Um, I'm really happy with these dies. I really like them. I think that they're kind, they kind of don't really go together. Like I don't get the idea behind them together because it came with this and this bow. Four of these, starting at this one, going all the way down to this size, right? And then the photo reel. Like, none of this, in my eyes, goes together. But that's okay, because then I feel like I've got, you know, three or four separate dies here I can make different things with. So, in that sense, it's kind of cool, but... I just kind of think that when you buy a set of dies, it should all come together in some form of idea. Like this definitely could, you could put a picture in. These, the picture would have to be very small. I thought about cutting this out a couple times and trying to lay them together so I could get this to be bigger. And I'm still gonna try that, I think. I'll come back on and show you if I can get it to work right. But, <clears throat> so since I made the Halloween one already, I thought, good night, love you. I'll see you in the morning. I thought that we would go ahead and make a bee themed one. You know, summer's almost over. You know, we're in, what is today? August 11th. <laughs> I've just worked 12 hours today. I've not been able to craft lately because I've been working so much. And I so just, I just wanna craft for a minute. I just wanna craft. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> okay, so what I did was I cut out two of the bee theme papers this one is like a like a salmon with some bees on it this one is like the honeycomb now i this is very thin paper it's from hobby lobby those um those paper project things that you get um let me see i don't even know what they're called um it's paper studios bee paper paper crafting kit so it came with all of this stuff here ephemera um, stickers, letter stickers, all these um, pa papers there. Now, what I love about this is that every other week you can get this for three bucks. Like, you cannot beat that every other week for three dollars, right? Because it's $5.99 and then it's half off every other week. You just can't beat it. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with gluing these on. Now, I knew it didn't matter how I cut the white one because you know, I'm gonna, it, it just didn't matter how I cut the white one basically is what I'm saying because I can turn it around. But if you had double-sided paper or you were trying to put another side, you would have to be careful of how you cut it because it does go a certain way. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this on really quickly. Now, I have watermelon charms that I got from BB Craft, so that's not really gonna go with this. I probably should have got like some bee charms to go with this, but that's okay. I have another plan with um, some of the charms that, that I got from them. That's gonna be my, um, my next project and my final project for the things that, well, the things that I'm obligated to do. It won't be my final projects, obviously, with these dies and the charms because like I'm, you know, absolutely in love with the dies and the charms. So clearly I'll be making, you know, more with it that I'll share. Okay, so let's glue this on. Okay, let's get this on right. That way it's a little bit sturdy, right? Cause I wanted it to be sturdy. Okay. 
And this kind of like, the reason I picked bees also is cause like kind of reminds me of like honey dripping or, you know, I just, that's just the vibe that this dye gives me. Yeah, so today I worked 12 hours. I worked from nine, or I actually worked 13 hours, but I worked from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. But I did have two half an hour lunches in there. So basically I'm only getting paid for 12 hours, but that's okay. I mean, that's it's two hours of overtime for me today and I desperately need the money. My son said to me the other day, I need to decide on my mental health <laughs> or my finances. And I don't know if that's a fair question because, you know, your finances coincide with your mental health, right? <laughs> so I think that, yeah, it's kind of difficult to work that many hours, but still. I think what's difficult about it is not that the work is hard, but that I can't do anything other than work. But don't get me wrong, I'm so blessed. I'm super, super blessed. I have a great job and I'm very, very blessed to have it. So please do not think that I'm complaining because I'm not. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you about these. Well, see how you could cut. Once you cut the die out, you have this that you can put over, you know, a picture. Like you could, you know, use your corner um, thingy. Cor what is that thing called? Um, you know, the corner chopper I'm talking about. And then you could make this, you know, straight lines. I can't cut a straight line to save my life. <laughs> I cannot cut. Even on the paper cutter, y'all, I cannot cut a straight line. <laughs> just doesn't happen okay but yeah so I thought you know that was pretty cool right because I had cut a bunch of these the first time when I was making those and I just thought as I was cutting them I was like man these are so cool oh and then look I kept some of the dies inside there and so I made it like a, a like a frame almost but isn't that cool I mean there's so many things you could do with these dies that's what I absolutely love about them they cut really nicely too. There's nothing no nothing wrong with the way they cut. Okay, so let's see what ephemeral we have. Um, I do have some stickers here that I'd like to sh you know use on here. But let's first check out the ephemera because I want to give these tags some depth. I want to give them like some kind of, you know, something to, you know. Oh, I really like that. Okay, I kind of like that, or what I want to put it on here. I think it kind of goes with the yellow. I like that a lot. Um, okay, let's see. We've got some smaller ones here, which is nice, because I definitely need some smaller ones. Oh, look at these bees. Okay, these are kind of cute. Let me pop one of these out to see what it looks like. Okay, I kind of like that, too. kind of like that over here, too, with the yellow. Okay, I don't know. Let's just keep seeing what we have. Let's keep seeing what we have. Here's here's another one of those bees. Okay. Um, oh, here's some little bees that kind of go with that. I could put that like on the corner of this one maybe. Okay, let's see. These are frames, obviously, to put on stuff. Okay. So some of these are really big. This would be great for a card or a stamping sentiment. That would be pretty awesome for that. Um, let's see here, what else is this? I don't know what that is. If anyone has any idea what that is, please, please let me know, because I have no idea. I don't, <laughs> it came out of this, I know that for sure, but I don't know what it is. Okay, look at this. Wouldn't this be really cool on like a scrapbooking page or even on a DIY where you added this as um, embellishments? Okay, let's see. So we have some more flowers. Okay, let's see. This is So some of these are obviously way too big, so we'll put these off to the side now. And we're going to work with the smaller ones, okay? So let's take a look here. I like this, but I don't want the same color you know, on the same page. But yet, for some reason, this yellow B really goes with this. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Let me bring you guys down a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So, um, maybe if I did this, like that, possibly. Um, like on the corner here, like that. I'll lift it up. This B, I'm in love with this B. I'm in love with this B kind. It's kind of big for that. 
Okay, let's see what other ephemera we have here. Plus we have those stickers, I can't forget those. Okay, these I got from um, Decorate Your Life when I won um, one of her giveaways, which was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna coffee collab in September, so I'm gonna keep that out for that coffee collab. And a donut, oh, a little donut. Okay, so this says hugs. Um, that's, okay, let's keep this coffee again out. A bingo card does not really go with, um, <laughs> with that. Oh, look at these heart sunglasses. How cute are those, right? Um, okay, let's see here. So I'm not really getting anything out of here. Well, there's some flowers and some birds. I kind of was hoping to get some sentiment. Um, sparkle, okay. I don't know the sparkle goes with bees, but maybe. You definitely sparkle when you get stung by one love you um today hugs today sparkle today okay let's see here amazing you know bees really are amazing i choose you charming done um, what is this oh that's a girl hmm okay so i don't really think any of these are going to work for that so we'll put oh here's a little bird yeah okay so we're gonna put this out of the way. Let's put this in here real quick and put it out of the way. Okay, here's a flower though. A flower really might go. Okay, okay. So let's just kind of start assembling what we have here. Um, I really did want some letters, but I don't, or some um, like, what am I trying to say? Some sentiments, but I don't really see that happening. I may not use this either. I really like these bees. Okay, so let's start with a bee here. So let me get out my stickers. Okay, let's get out my stickers here. I wanted to make two. I mean, I probably shouldn't have made two of the same, but you know, I, I just wanted to make two so you guys could kind of see like, you know, the difference. Plus, you know, the Halloween one I made. But it's definitely fall time and you know Halloween time so one more project with bees on it and I think then we're gonna be done with bees until next year anyway mm -hmm. okay let's see here okay now you could still make this into a tag or you could add this on a tag I kind of would just like maybe to send it like as an ATC card. I could write my information on the back on the white and send it as an ATC card. That's a really great idea. Um, let's see, let me get some stickers out. Let's see some stickers. Mm -hmm. If I can get them open. I guess I should have been more prepared, you guys, I'm sorry. You guys will have to tell me when we're done which one you like better out of the three tags that I'm making or the three ATC cards, whatever we're gonna call these. Let's see here, let me get this out. It's stuck in here. Okay, let's see. Oh, these are seats? Oh, look at that, okay. Oh, it's stuck, it's static. Okay, so these are see-through. Okay, I kinda like that a lot on there. Okay, that's one. Um, wow, okay, let's see. I like this one a lot on here. Like, I really like that right there. Okay. Um, should I put a little black and white B on here? Okay, let's see here. I really like that B too. Okay. Um, Let's put a flower on this one. Let's see, what do you think? Put a little flower for some dimension. So I think you guys are getting the idea, right? Like it's, you know, it's kind of really that, I mean, anything, but I I definitely like them as an ATC card. And I like the fact that you could just put flat stickers on here so that you could send them out to someone. Um, Okay, like I feel like this one needs, but I don't want to cover up these bees. I know that when it comes to paper crafting, it's all about like layering and such.
But <laughs> I think that's where I struggle because when I start layering up, I'm hiding some of the pretty stuff that I really, really like. So I, I don't know if I like doing that, but I mean, it is part of the, you know, the you know, whole thing about making the stuff is the layers. Okay, okay, I hope that you guys like these. I really do love these. Um, let me see, is that, can you see that now? Let me see, let me pull them up here closer. I hope you guys like these. I definitely think that this would work perfect as an ATC card, which is an artist trading card. Yeah, okay. Look at this one. I think this one's kind of cute. I really didn't think I was gonna wanna put any flat stickers on it, but I really like it a lot. And then here is my Halloween one that I already made like I think two weeks ago. <laughs> so you guys will have to tell me which one's your favorite. Did you think I put enough layering on it? Should I have put more? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, it's so funny. Like I sat down to create and I had no idea what I was going to do until I got the bee steam, you know, the bee theme together. And then this is what I create. It's just amazing to me how you just don't know what you're going to create. So thank you, BB Craft, for letting me pick these dies and create with them. I'm super excited. Um, if you guys want them, let me know. Please don't forget that there is a um, code to save money. I'll put that in my description box as well. And happy crafting, you guys. Oh, I didn't even say welcome to my channel. <laughs> It's Maxine from Maxine Loves Crafts. You guys, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps YouTube notice me just a little bit more. A comment. I would love to have you subscribe. I'm trying so hard to reach my 4,000 watch hours, you know, by January 3rd of this year. I don't know that I'm going to make it, but you know, I, I just hope that I do. And anything you could do to help me do that would be just amazing. But thank you guys so much. And I'll talk to you really soon. Happy crafting.